What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody prevailing in today? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all how to make the one and only Elvin Hayes. So you already know first things first before we start making Elvin Hayes we got to see what the attributes is looking like. So a 72 on a driving layup, 90 standing dunk, 85 driving layup with a 96 close shot. So from what I see Elvin Hayes is a good interior finisher so far, right? So he can finish at the rim with no issues whatsoever. Now, the shooting is, uh, it's, it's, it's high. I mean, you get a 72 midi, 73 point shot. You should be able to make the wide open green. I mean, if you wide open, maybe have some boost. I think you should be good after that. 69 on the free throw, okay? So now, Look at this, 95 post control, which is amazing. You gotta love that. Playmaking looks pretty good. That 75 pass accuracy is going to be essential. Let me get some decent speed with ball and ball handle as well. Now, 95 interior defense. We have a 60 perimeter, 80 on the steal, 94 block, 97 offensive rebound, 98 defensive rebound. This is my type of build that can finish at the rim, that can snag. Listen, who doesn't like a center or power forward that can snag and just, just do some amazing stuff, right? So look at this, 95 strength, 80 bird. This build is looking solid, all right? So we're gonna go to the My Player Builder right now and make the one and only Elvin Hayes. So we're gonna go to the My Career, you already know. Let that load up real quick, all right, now. So you already know first and last name, right hand, jersey number. Of course, I always forget the jersey number. I don't even be paying attention to the jersey number, to be honest with you. But we're just going to go 99 because we want to get our players to 99. All right, so look, we're making a power forward. So you want to go power forward, stay at uh, 6'9". You want to put that weight to 235, right? And then you want to leave the wingspan at 7'1". First thing that we're gonna start adding is the physical. So you wanna go 80 vert, that's what he has. So we're gonna go 80 on a vertical, that's solid. The strength, you wanna go 86. That is gonna be more than enough to get the job done. 60 on the agility, and then we're just gonna go 75 on the speed. So 75 speed is gonna be solid, all right? This is gonna help you be able to move around the court when you don't have the ball. So you're gonna be able to run or sprint without the ball and this is your speed, this should be more than enough. Now, he had finishing, so we're gonna put finishing. So first thing that we're gonna add in the finishing is that 90 close shot. We wanna be cooking with this close shot, right? 72 on the driving layup, because we're not gonna really be taking layups, but this should be good. Now, 75 driving dunk, yo, do not sleep on 75 driving dunk. You get so many great dunk packages at 75. Giannis, the fact that Giannis dunk packages uh, packages at 75 is just crazy to me. I feel like that's a sign of disrespect, but hey, it is what it is, right? Now, we're going with that 90 standing dunk. Yes, my people, that's what we want for this build. 90 standing dunk is going to be great. The post control, we're going to also go to 95, my people. So, you see, the inside game, phenomenal, right? You could even pop out, oh, see, no, you can't. So, you have to have a 90 close shot because it is tied with the post control so we get hall of fame post up poet the inside game remarkable right now for the mid-range game we're going with a 71 my people 70 on the midi that's going to give us post fade phenom we get set shot specialist on bronze as well now for the three-point shot he had a 70 so you already know we're going with a 70 three-point shot right now free throw we gotta have a decent free throw so we're gonna go 71 that's still decent that should uh, help you get some good um you know some good greens from time to time if you put on the right jump shot in terms of the free throw you're good pass accuracy we're going with 75 because that's what hayes had all right now 55 ball handle with the 56 speed with ball okay so this build is looking it's looking like a very interesting build so far now we gotta have defense so you already know we're going with an 88 
on the interior defense. 88 still reigns supreme because you want that post lock on gold. 60 on the perimeter defense. It would have been cool to go 62, but it is what it is. 80 on the steal because that's what he had. So we're making his exact build. He had an 80 steal, we're giving him an 80 steal. He had a 75 pass, we're giving him 75 pass. The shooting, he had these same exact numbers. This is what we're doing, all right? The black, we're gonna go with a 74 just so we can get that paint patroller and high flying denier on run. Now, the rebounding, his rebounding was high, okay? He had a high rebounding, but for this build, we're just gonna go with an 85 defensive, all right? This is probably not gonna be enough for some people. I definitely understand. You could probably, you know, adjust maybe the post, drop that down if you want. Maybe you say, this is not enough shooting. Maybe I should drop it all the way down and give you some more rebounding. It's really up to you how you wanna do this. But if you have IQ, if you use this build the way it's supposed to be used, you should be perfectly fine, all right? So we're gonna continue right here. Once you add the attributes like I did, you get gold logo Elvin Hayes. Come on now, that's a dope um, you know, build right here. This build is dope. You get Elvin Hayes, his number one shades, his exact build, two-way interior score. And remember, I said earlier that this build looked like a great interior score. Now we get a two-way. So y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build. And until next time, much love.